Today we're going to take you on a tour of our RV. And we did a video when we first got the RV. We did a complete tour. But so much has changed now. We've added a bunch of things to make life more convenient. And we had to live in it for a minute to figure out what worked, what didn't work. Yeah. So it looks totally different than the day we bought it. Absolutely. It looks like a home now. Yes. And we've done videos of, of some of the changes along the way, but we kind of wanted to put that into one complete tour of the RV and what, what it looks like now. Because we've done a lot of modifications for Scout too. Yes. You can see one right behind us. <laughs> the little rock wall he's got back there behind us. We'll show you all those modifications, everything we've done to the RV, and um, anything that we have purchased to change the RV or make it different if we can find a link to it we will put it in the description below in case you want to make that same modification to your RV. Leslie is going to be my camera person today. I'll be taking you through the RV. So come on. Alright, what we're going to do is we're going to start over here. We'll work our way around and then we'll head back up that way into the RV. So we'll start over here in the dining room. Um, one of the first things that we did was, well you probably already noticed that Leslie painted the entire interior of the RV white. It used to be like that beigey, browny kind of RV color that you see in all the RVs. So all the interior was white and then um, took all of the boxy balances, uh, the brown beigey boxy balances and took those off. So these are just your standard curtain rods. And you can either use like the really tiny little screws that aren't going very far, or you can use um, just like the double-sided command hook type stuff to, to hold them on there. We use a combination of both, and they both work pretty well. I haven't had any fall off yet, so that's good. Um, the chairs were also the brownish, beigey, standard RV brown colors. Um, so we- Which were fine, but just not bright. Yeah. So we got these, these covers and um, they just slide right on. I like the elastic slide on covers and just kind of gives that red little pop. You'll see Scout over here on his ramp. Um, did a little bit of modifications. Now, he has a ramp to go up to the window here and then the, another ramp in the back behind here. The ramps are made out of the shelf material that you would find in closets. Yeah, the wire shelves. In your, like a typical sticks and bricks house would have the wire shelving. You can go to Home Depot or Lowe's and you can buy these and they'll cut them to the size that you need them cut to. So we did that. We, we cut those to the size we needed and then covered them in the, the contact paper, like the rubbery kind of contact paper that you put in the bottom of your drawers. That, that gives them traction so you can go right up there. Um, we got the little pieces of uh, birch that just keeps it from going in between there. Yeah, the gap. Up here. He has his rock, which he had in his in his tank back when we were in the house. And so he can just get up a little bit higher and he can perch out the window. So you can get up here, you can turn around, you go down. Um, and these things all will store right behind the couch on travel days. And so really easy to break down and put right behind the couch. Or when he goes to bed and we want to recline. Yeah, during the day we, we we're not really in here watching a lot of TV. Take the shelf down. Anyway, we're kind of out doing stuff. so. Um, we're not reclining a lot anyway, so yeah, at night we can take those down and then we can recline our, our chair. Here's where the fun stuff happens. These are all like modifications that we did for Scout. It's going to look crazy, <laughs> but it all breaks down. It all goes back to normal on travel days or when we have company, it all goes back to normal. But this is like Scout's living space pretty much. And you can see, um, we will start with the, with the cover. We put the couch cover on there because he has his basking lights here and we don't want the heat to damage the leather. So we have that here for him. Um, these little ladders here are just ladders you'll find like for like the ferret and the hamster section of a pet store. Birds. Or birds. And we cover that again with the contact paper so that he can just run up. And these, I have them held on with command hooks as well so they won't yeah, slip so they and won't fall. Yeah, so they won't slide down. So you'll see the little command hook holding the hook on there. so. It'll hold his weight without like him just falling to the floor. Um, these right here, um, this is just like cardboard box now, right? Yes. 
shipping box. Just a cardboard <laughs> shipping box. I think we got something from Amazon or whatever. And we just covered it with the with the fabric. So he jumps up here, then he goes up here, and he can hang out in the sun, depending on which way the sun's hitting. And um, he has a, a little rock here so that he can climb up to the top. Uh, again, we have the contact paper because um, he can climb He can climb straight up this, all the way up here, and then he can get up to the top. He goes over here. This heat lamp has a heat lamp plus a UV, so he can get his UV in case it's a dreary day. And, there's no sunlight coming through, so you can still get his UV, he can still be out for most of the day. And then over here, um, because he doesn't have two logs, we put some more contact paper on this side, so he can climb all the way up to the very top. And we have this collapsible ramp. This one collapses and folds down, but this is, he mostly uses this to go down. Yeah, he likes to go down, not up on it. Not really up. He likes to climb his way up, and then he likes to slide, slide his way down. down. <laughs> so um, this guy right here will collapse right now and fold up for easy storage this will go behind Close. the couch also but when we're here and he's out uh, he can use this to uh to get the double couch and his lights are also hung with command hooks yeah the the um on each side there's plugs so it works out good uh, we just run the the cords around the uh, outside of the curtain rods um, through the handles here and then there's a little command hook so on travel days or when we have company, all this stuff can come down in like five minutes. It's mm -hmm. completely gone. You can take the couch cover off. Fold it all You up. would never know. And these command hooks flip, flip right back up. So you hardly even notice that they're, that they're there. Um, when we do need to access this, it's not that bad. Just unplug it, run the cord back through. And we don't have that much that's important in there anyway. So we don't get in there very often. Most of the day he's out. If we're home, he's out. He's running around under his basking lights up on the couch. But um, if we have to leave, he does have the heat lamps up there. Um, these little guys uh, turn. They're just mounted up in here, and they turn to open up. We do have a little rubber stopper on here in case you, we accidentally let this go. It swings down and hits the TV. It won't break the TV. Um, but this is just the top of uh, a fish tank mm -hmm. uh, with a big hinge on it. It has magnet things on the top that hook right into there. And then put these little hooks here to twist in case he gets in there and jumps against If he pushes this, on it, it will might pop it. Pop it out. So we just have those just in case. Um, and then on the sides is just plexiglass. Uh, on the inside, uh, we have a, a little a little bit of a padding there just to kind of uh, keep the, the vibration down. If the volume on the T is turned up, we don't want to vibrate too bad if he's up there sleeping. The UV light is, is back here. It's a bar light back here that provides his UV and then this is his basking which provides his heat. It's about a hundred degrees or so inside the tank on the hot sun. And then he's got all this stuff. All this is plexiglass and then we put the, the background back there and he's got all this all this stuff. But I mean he's really not in there much. Um, mm -hmm. Just for sleeping mostly. Unless we're like I said unless we're out okay. running around. But sometimes even if we're out just for a real quick trip like he'll just we'll just leave him out he'll hang out. He'll be fine. We did a video on this this island, uh, it was just all brown, but we did the, uh, the peel and stick wallpaper. We just got a roll from Walmart, it's like 30 bucks, and one roll is plenty to do the whole island. Um, and we've talked about this before, I don't know if this is a too bright of a white, but there are other, there are other patterns, so we've talked about maybe switching patterns, so I don't know if we'll do that or not. We'll see. But anyway, 30 bucks, and it makes it just, those panels just pop a little bit, so, so we did that. Can we come back around here real quick? I want to show something. So you saw where Scout lives. And Scout loves watching TV. Big fan. Especially sports. All the colors moving around. I think it's all the colors moving around and stuff. He just likes the action. The action. And so when we're not here, he can't see the TV because he's up in the cage above the TV. So what we did was <laughs> come down a mirror up here and put it on an angle so from from where he is <laughs> he can see the tv <laughs> so ridiculous <laughs> it's so crazy there's but, nothing too good for him yeah and um there is a command hook back here um with a what is it, zip tie zip that tie. holds it at the angle it needs to be and these are just like the over the door like towel hooks yep 
and they just hook right onto the top of the slide right there and the mirror sits in there and then on travel days we just, just take it off down. and good to go it's crazy so the kitchen a little personal touch up here the w that i burnt uh, i do wood burning art so i did that this is the newest addition to the kitchen <laughs> our new wave air fryer which is awesome we're gonna do a video on that because we like it yes i'm in love yeah we're not wine drinkers we don't drink wine we do drink <laughs> but we don't drink wine uh, so what leslie did up here was she took some pieces of plexiglass and she cut it down to the size for each one of these sections here put some fake plants in here and then she took some gallery glass gallery glass is like this uh, liquid stuff that you can put on plexiglass or glass and kind of give it that like um, stained glass look and uh, so she, she just alternated those and just to give it kind of a decorative decorative look and then she installed some lights there's a plug back there for where the for where the microwave plugs in so also plugged in a set of LED lights that you can turn on and and light that up just for home balance it looks pretty cool at night mm -hmm. to light that up and then you can change colors whatever you want make it do all kinds of crazy stuff anyway mm -hmm. so that's pretty cool this is the clock this is the clock that ripped <laughs> our thing off and so we had to move it over here because now over here let me show you where it was at Now we got the logo, <laughs> which I just burned yesterday, and it's really thin. So we had that clock over here, and it was it was right here. And when this slide came in, it would just barely clear it. I mean, like fraction, but of it an cleared inch, clear it. it. And then one time it didn't. It hit it, and it popped this thing off and knocked it down. It was bad. So now we just have the thin uh, logo. And so that should clear it. Should be fine. Up here we have the uh, the stair runners. We didn't do this for us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> of course not. This is not for aesthetics. This is not for grip for us. This is so Scout can get upstairs. <laughs> because the traction again. He was able to jump high enough, but he just couldn't get enough traction once he got up to the to the first stair. He was doing really good on the first stair, and then. You're just having a hard time getting enough traction to get all the way up to the top. So once we put these on here, um, he's up there and he's good. Uh, we don't have a lot of wall space in the RV to hang stuff, but um, we wanted to use this space because uh, we found this when we were in Helen, Georgia. And it's just really cool because it's not only a cross, which represents, uh, you know, our faith, but it also uh, has the boots and the dog tags and so it kind of just reminds us as soon as we walk in the door it reminds us um, of why we have the the freedoms that we have to to be able to live this lifestyle and be able to rv full-time and to be able to i mean everything that we do um, it, it kind of reminds us and to not take any of that for granted so not that big good space for that going into the bathroom leslie and i are both not going to fit so i'm going to shoot and commentate at the same time so the first thing is uh, the wall art, which Leslie picked out. And this is 3D wall art that just uh, sticks to the wall. A uh, piece of art that, that I painted up there. We have our towels with our his and hers tags up on the wall. Um, back here, we did a little bit of modification in the storage area. Now it's pretty deep too. I uh, just took one of those plastic shelves and I actually had to build it in there or put it together in there because I couldn't put it together and then put it in. But it just gives us an extra little spot. We put our beach towels up there and then our you know regular other stuff down here. Let's put all our fingernail business down there. So it just gives us more space. One of the other things that we did was we added the adhesive backsplash back here just gave it a little more character a little more color a little pop and then we, we changed the sink out because 
the old sink, um, first of all, it had a, a plastic drain and it was raised a little bit so water would just be hanging out right around the edge right there. And then the old faucet only came out to, to like right here. I mean, see so your hands were like way up under here trying to trying to wash your hands. You got the whole rest of the sink and uh, it was just really tight. We just said, you know what, we'll just replace this. And it's just your standard bathroom faucet that we got from Home Depot. It cost about 30 bucks. Yeah, about 30 bucks and took about a half hour and it was all done, installed. So easy peasy. What Leslie has done down here is she has put command hooks on the sides, on the insides here. And this is leftover shelving that we had when we cut Scout's ramp. So we put that in here. That's where we stack all of our, our toilet paper, which gives us more space down here. So we can put all of our stuff down here and stack the rest of the stuff up here. Um, and plenty of space if you had like big bottles of cleaners or, or whatever down here. Coming out of the bathroom, a uh, little bit more art. That's Lauren, our, definitely our biggest adventure. <laughs> That's our senior picture and then the musical notes just because she was like big into into band, played a couple instruments, so. So we had to use up a little wall space on, on Lauren. <laughs> Good investment. Leslie picked out this wall art. It's just a cling, right? Yeah. Reusable peel. So this can stick. come off and back on or whatever. It hasn't we haven't taken it off, but it just and we got that on both sides of the TV. Again, we took off the boxy balances and replaced that with just regular curtain rods. And we got some just regular decorations, decor and stuff. One of the first things that we did when we got the RV is switch out the mattress. Mm -hmm. We did not spend one night <laughs> on the RV mattress because it was like sleeping on plywood. You might as well have just taken this out and just slept on the wood, man. <laughs> it was crazy hard. Uh, so we knew when that wasn't gonna happen for us. So um, we took our residential king size mattress and put it in here. It was a little bit of a pain. It was a little bit challenging <laughs> to get it in here, but it's doable. You can get a king size mattress through the front door <laughs> into this bedroom and on this bed, it can be done. Yeah. This one over here is really cool because it is the lyrics to the song Across My Heart by George Strait, which was our wedding song. So in the shape of a heart with the lyrics. So that's pretty cool. Over here we got the stackable washer dryer. Nothing really exciting. <laughs> Just stackable washer and dryer. All right, inside the closet, I'm not gonna really talk about that too much. Uh, we, we might do another video about that later on, how to organize the closet. These hangers right here have been awesome so you can hang a bunch of shirts on here it doesn't take up a lot of space so that's it for the inside we made a couple of changes on the outside so let's, yeah. go, let's go check those out okay. we've only made a couple of changes to the outside one of the biggest ones is the new decal in the back we got from mile high campers so dave from mile high campers hooked us up with the decal we'll put a link to his uh, website so you can go check out his stuff if you want the next thing i want to talk about is the flagpole let me get you under here so you can see it all right, this guy right here is just an L shape that plugs right into the into the frame, and we just have a hitch lock in here, and then the flagpole goes right into here. The top of the flagpole, I have it down right now, since so you can kind of see, but this is a, a light ring, so this will uh, this is the LED, and it will light up at night. There's a little button right here if you want to turn it off, but if you have it in the on position, which we do now, it will uh, it'll automatically uh, turn on when the light is off. And now I'm going to raise it up and show you how it works. Just hook your flag on here, uh, top and bottom row. comes with three rings in the packaging. Just lift this guy up to start. Okay. Once you get it up to this section, just give it a twist so that locks into that position. And you'll go up to the next one. You can hook a second flag here if you want. You hook the the bottom part of the flag is this D-ring and the top part. So that one you can hook a second flag up. So you just go up each section as far as it'll go. And then once you reach the top of that section, you twist it to the right and that will lock it in. All 
Well, that's it. That's the tour. I think we've changed a lot. Yeah. For the better. Yeah. What's your favorite change? Goodness, my favorite? No, everything is my favorite. It can't be everything. I can. You can't say everything. I can say everything if I want to say everything. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, because I love that I painted it. I like the real I love that curtain. you painted it too, because I didn't want to paint it. <laughs> and I like having a <laughs> real curtain around the windows. And I like my pops the color and my greenery. And I like, well, of course I love everything I did for Scout, because he deserves it. <laughs> <laughs> he deserves to be Scout. treated like a king. <laughs> Scout's loving it, dude. I like everything, because it's functional for us. Yeah, it works really well. It feels like home. Yeah, and it's not going to be, um, even the stuff that we have to tear down on travel days, it's not terrible. Mm -mm. It's not much more than, than you would have to tear down anyway. A couple extra minutes. Like the flagpole will have to come down on travel days. Yeah. The uh, all scout stuff will have to come down on, on travel days. But that's ball it up, put it in the cabinet. Easy peasy, man. Yeah. Um, so that's the tour. I mean, if you guys have good ideas of stuff that um, that we don't have that would look cool or make stuff more efficient mm -hmm. or space saving then let us know yeah we're always down for a good idea mm -hmm. you love it when i change things love it <laughs> well every time you change things it costs a bunch of money no -uh. Ooh, we could put another shelf in there it'll only cost us four hundred dollars <laughs> Nothing costs more than <laughs> <laughs> Like, yes. Can we spend more money? Do we get to spend more money? <laughs> um, I'm sure we'll make some more changes along the way, but th I'd say 90% good. Yeah. Not going to be any more, like, super major changes. No. I don't think. Not that I foresee. Mm -hmm. Unless... Oh, the light bulb goes off. You know you're in trouble when she says, you know what I was thinking? Hey, that's a two-way street right there. No. Yeah. I don't know what you were thinking. <laughs> I don't want to know what you're thinking. When you say it, I get scared. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's always fun stuff. Says you. Yeah. yeah. You know what I was thinking? Let's go to the casino. Yeah, and that's not what you say. Hey, you know what I was thinking? Let's get drunk and then get naked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that you do say a lot. Mm. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you, mine are fun. And you're like, hey, you know what I was thinking? Let's build something. <laughs> I like to build. For more than it costs to buy it. <laughs> that's, what the, that's not fun. <laughs> <laughs> I have fun doing it. Let's build a couch out of, out of pallets. <laughs> Why? It's cool. It's not cool. Cool patio furniture. It's like 905 degrees outside. <laughs> All right. I don't want to build anything. You never build anything. I yet. almost died of a heat injury burning that logo yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> that was hot. <laughs> it's really hot. Because I wanted to get it done before mm -hmm. we did the tour mm -hmm. of the of the RV. Because I wanted to be included in the video. <laughs> but it was so hot, so hot, mm -hmm. and because the wind cools off the the tips of my my heating. Tools. tools. I have to put up the canopy with. I, and yesterday I had to put up two sides of the canopy because the wind was coming from kind of two different directions. So I, I put up two walls, and man, it was like a sauna. <laughs> it was like a sauna. So hot. Yeah. yeah. I mean, even the camp host came by and was like, "Are you okay? <laughs> Are you retarded? <laughs> it's you know, it's like 100 degrees <laughs> outside." You've been out here for hours. I know. And yes, I'm retarded. <laughs> but it's pretty. We got a logo. It looks good. I Up like on the wall. It. It looks good. <laughs> so now I'm rehydrating. It's 
Scout liked it. He enjoyed it out there. A Mountain Dew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Scout was loving it outside. 100 degrees. He's mm -hmm. like, it's good stuff right here. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. But he was like freaking out with the, the birds. birds. You know, he's always watching the watching the birds. Cause it, right back here, uh, behind the, the campground is a yeah. cell phone tower. And on top of the cell phone tower, there's like big birds. I can't tell what kind of birds they are. But there's it some big birds up there. It doesn't like one's a hawk. It's it might be like, loud. yeah, they're nesting up there. And so he's like always like looking mm -hmm. up at that dang, he cock his head all the way to one side. <laughs> He'll be looking up at that, at that tower, waiting for him to dive on him or something. And he's been- uh, Bobbing. He's been bobbing. <laughs> <laughs> he'll run around like a crazy person, and then he'll run up to the top, and he'll he'll bob his head, which is like a once they get a mature age, it's a dominancy thing. So he obviously sees something out there that he wants to be king of. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I want to be in charge of this campground. Yeah, yeah, cause there's no other lizards, so it's not. No. Challenging a male, not trying to woo a female, mm -hmm. but he's bobbing. But he's the, he's the, <laughs> that's once they hit that, that, that maturity, it's just like uh, they got the testosterone going, they just want to fight something, or, and he'll puff his beard out sometimes yeah. and get all pissed. He and, might be seeing the shadows of the birds out. Yeah, know. and then he'll do another lap around and then he'll go back <laughs> up and he'll bob some more. He just started the bobbing thing, but oh, I think it's, it's funny. funny. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> but he's like it's serious. serious. Yeah. Like, he ain't messing around. Mm -hmm. like he, normally, you call his name and he'll kind of look at you. But, like, when he's in bobbing mode, like, no. Mm -mm. <laughs> we don't exist. They mess with you. I got I to gotta tell these people out here that I'm in charge of this place. <laughs> That's it. We hope you guys enjoyed the tour mm -hmm. um, as we do every Sunday. We're going to honor a fallen hero. This is the second week in a row that we've done a, a, a request for fallen hero because we had a subscriber who submitted a request to honor two fallen marines that came from the same high school uh, so we did the, the first marine last week mm -hmm. and this week we're going to uh, recognize the second one both the marines were from the same high school in, in indiana and uh, the subscriber who submitted these names went to high school with uh, the mother of the Marine that we honored last week. And this other Marine um, was killed in action several years later. But just uh, unfortunate circumstances that, that both these Marines came from the same Same's small town in Indiana, same high school, graduated as him. So that community, they all, they all know each other. So when you have a small knit community like that, and they get hit with uh, multiple uh, combat related losses like that. It's pretty devastating. So uh, our pleasure and, and honor to, to honor these, these fallen heroes and um, So we'll do that right now. Oh Yeah, hey, um, I, I did get a partial I got a, a partial time-lapse of me almost dying <laughs> Burning that yesterday in the hundred degree weather uh, the camera battery died uh, just shortly after I got done with the outline of it, but um, after we honor the fallen hero on the end of the video, uh, I'll put some time lapse footage of the of my near death experience. <laughs> Drama. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. <laughs>